Yo, what's up guys, Legend Crazy back with another Man 23 video here today in Odyssey. Uh, this is going to be a different bit of a video here. Um, not going to be a Seahawks Team Team video. Haven't really got any new cards out yet. Yeah, obviously, it's uh, Legends drop today. Um, yeah, no Seahawks, unfortunately. Maybe we get a JRS next week or something. But that's not what we're doing. We're talking actually about Budget Beast in Madden 23. Now, when I checked these cards yesterday on the auction block, they were all below 20,000. Um, four out of five were below like 10,000, and then there was one card that was like 17,000, so I just raised the bar to 20,000. So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go over. I'm gonna go from. Uh, I have five of them, and I'm gonna go from five, four, three, two, one. All right. So, yes. Uh, to start off. Um, now, obviously, it's the beginning of Madden, so there's a lot of different cards you could use. Now, I know people that use gold quarterbacks still instead of buying, like, a high-level overall elite quarterback because they're not glitchy, per se. They just they get the job done, right? I mean, I don't know how many of you watched MMG, but I remember last year, Jeremy Vilmot used the gold uh, Jalen Hurts, and it worked for him. Now, starting off number five on the list here, we have uh, 79 overall Trey Lance. Now, I'm just gonna go to like one of these ones so it doesn't get bought. Um, Trey Lance, I know he was also a bit glitchy last year, you know, when the game came out, but he was like an 80 at the time, 85 at the time, I don't know, it's weird. But, um, if you're just looking to get a quarterback for your team, Trey Lance is an option. Uh, now I think the cheapest one was going for like 2000 um, but this one's going for 3700 but let's just take a look at stats. Now, in a quarterback, you're looking at speed a little bit, alright? I mean, if you're going for these low-level quarterbacks, you definitely need speed. Because you're not buying the high elites for their speed, you're buying them for their pass accuracy. Now, Jalen Hurts, or not Jalen Hurts, Trey Lance does not have bad pass accuracies, right? It roughly fits his overall. Now, let's go over the stats. We got 80 speed, 82 throw power, right? It's not terrible. Probably would chuck the ball on 40, 50 yards. Alright, it's not terrible. 76 short accuracy, 73 mid, 76 deep accuracy, 73 throw under pressure, 74 on the run, 81 play action. So, I mean, if you like going to play action, that might do the move for you. I'm not sure. But when you're looking at these low overall cards, speed is going to be the big factor, right? Getting speed for cheap. That's, that's really the definition of a uh, budget beast. Now, if you're rocking, like, an 80-plus quarterback, Unless it's Kyler or Lamar, it's you're really not looking for speed. I mean, I don't know how much speed Josh Allen has. He might have some speed. Joe Burrow might have some. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really looked at their cards. But yeah, Trey Lance is at number five for me. Uh, I think he is quite a good budget quarterback. Now, obviously, it looks like he got bought a few times. So his lowest is three thousand two hundred. Still very easy to come by. Um, for the next quarterback, I'll be going over. Uh, I've actually seen some people. Use this one. My buddies actually uses it. But uh, Justin Fields. And another thing is, um, you're using a gold quarterback, all right? Get that through your head, right? You're not using your 99 overall quarterback that can make any th throw anywhere over the field for Madden 22. All right, these quarterbacks have limits, especially gold ones. Now, like I said, you're buying speed for cheap. For these budget beasts, right? With Justin Field, you get exactly that, right? Six three compared to six four. Trey Lance, right? Not terrible height difference. He's got eighty two speed, eighty throw power, seventy six short, seventy four mid, seventy six uh, deep, seventy three throw under pressure, seventy six on the run, and seventy four play action. Now, I mean that's very good for his card, for his seventy eight overall card. I mean you'll be able to roll out with plenty of speed. I mean, if you're running a theme team, you can get Justin Fields up to 84 speed. Alright, that's not bad whatsoever. And, I mean, how much he, how much is he going for right now? Is he going for, like, 3,000? Okay, well, someone bought his previous one. Hopefully no one buys well, I'm excellent. But like I said, you're buying speed for cheap, and Justin Fields is just that. I mean, he gets the job done. He's got pretty mediocre stats, right? This is, Obviously, you won't gonna find these passing stats on like 84 Russ, 80 whatever Rodgers, 80 was 88 Josh Allen, you're not gonna find these stats on those cards, they're obviously gonna be better, 
but what they are going to lack is speed, unless you're obviously going for Lamar or Kyler, who are going to be more expensive. So that's why getting Justin Fields for 4,000 with 82 speed and then pretty mediocre passing strats, or, um, stats, it's a, it's a good buy-off, all right? It's a good buy-off. All right, so he's at four. Uh, I just want to say there is no more quarterbacks on this list. Uh, number three, though. It's uh, actually a wide receiver. So we're gonna go type that in real quick. And obviously, if you can tell by the SE, you got Marquise Brown, who's actually going here for about 11,000, right? Marquise Brown is probably gonna be one of the best, cheapest receivers you're gonna come by. And here's why. Like I was explaining before with Justin Fields, Trey Lance, you're buying speed for cheap with these low level cards. That's what makes them the budget beast. They don't have the greatest stats otherwise. But speed is crucial, especially at the beginning of Madden 22. Sure, having great coverages is nice, but if you pair up, say, Marquise Brown against. Okay, I don't, I don't know how fast Jalen Ramsey is, but let's just say he's 84, 83 speed. I don't, I don't know. All right, I don't know. I'm not going to actually make the conversion. But just, I don't know the top corners. I think Jalen Ramsey's top corner. Well, let's go over this real quick. You get 80 overall Marquise Brown, right? 5'9", 180. He's a short guy. You get 85 speed on him, though. 85 speed. Obviously, he's not that great in other aspects, but he's got 80 catching and 81 deep route running. Now, this guy's not going to be that route runner, right? Most likely, this guy is going to be your kick returner and your streak guy. All right, that's really about it. Unless you want to run some slants with him, because I mean, 70 route running can get that done. But you're not gonna be able to run perfect post with Marquise Brown unless you have a terrible corner guarding him. Now you take any corner. All right, now look at 80, 86 uh, team captain corner. I think he's 86 speed. That's six overalls higher than Marquise Brown and only one speed faster. Now, unless you come across one of the budget beasts that are going to be actually going to arrive two corners after this, he's going to have a interesting time playing against them. But you're buying speed for cheap. As I have to emphasize that every time, right? And know your limits, right? He's not going to be run the most perfect crisp routes because he's not made for that. These lower rolls are speed um, idealist. So we got 9,700 for the cheapest. Now, these one and two can be changed. But I stick to my opinion. At number two, uh, we have a cornerback. Uh, a lot of you probably know this. Um, but, you know, I'm going over it anyway. And these are, this is one of the corners that I was telling you. Okay, well, I spelled this name wrong. That's one. Okay, I did it again. Dude, I literally... There we go. Sorry about that. Let's go down. He's going for 12,000 right now, which is actually huge. So, this is like a 15,000 less list. So that's actually massive. I'm probably going to do 13,000 less. I mean, okay, so we're just going to go down to this one so it doesn't get on. You know, we're losing. Whatever. Caleb Farley, like I was saying with Marquise Brown, having an 80 to 80, like, 5 overall corner that, you know, doesn't have great speed. Like, I know it. Darius Slay, 84 overall, has like 83 speed. He is going to lose a matchup against Marquise Brown if it's a streak. All right, he's just that's just how it works. Speed is key in this game, really throughout the entire year until you get other aspects that play into it. Like, so you get a running back that's not fastest, but he's got like trucking stiff arm ability, like Derrick Henry. I mean, it made him quite good this year with the that. But Caleb Farley, 82 overall, and he's going for 12,000. You get a 6'2 cornerback. 87 speed, 86 XL, 88 agility, 86 jump, 68 playback, 81 man, 76 zone, 75 press. Now, here's what you can do. You're running a theme team, have him at corner. All right, you get 89 speed on the man. You bump up his zone to low under 80. You, you get pretty good stats. Right now, obviously, he doesn't get the greatest, greatest press. But uh, with these next two, um, if I had them on my team, I'll actually have one of them because I run the theme team for it. But if I have them on my team, I'm using them as a user. So what I'll have them is as a like cornerback 5, 
and then say I have I have Cam Chancellor, right? So I'll play him in the box. Use Caleb Farley as my user. I have an 87 speed guy. Alright. Currently my backup is Jamal Adams, a strong safety. He's like 83 speed. Having a 87 speed guy is significantly better. 62207, it's great. And this is one of those budget beasts that you gotta watch out for because you might think, oh, it's only an 82 over a corner. Yeah, but he's got 87, 86, 87 speed, he's 66 so. And on a theme team, that's that's almost 90 speed. It's almost cracking 90 speed. Now, uh, let's go to number one. So, currently the highest uh, card right now is uh, Caleb Farley. Yeah, you can see his 12,000 got bought. So, he's rocking around roughly about 14,000. So I could probably put 15,000 on under for these budget beasts. Unfortunately, these cards used to be pretty cheap, but you know, more people make the videos, you know, they get their name out, more people buy them, they get a higher demand, all right? Just how just how it is. Now, my favorite, all right? Um, some of you might know who I'm putting in here. But uh, my favorite. Okay. So this dude's actually supposed to be like 8,000, but I guess every card on the auction block for this dude's bought. So I'm gonna try to make this as brief as possible before this dude gets bought. Tariq won, right? 71 overall. 11 overalls lower than uh, Caleb Farley, alright? 6-4, alright? Now this guy, you're not playing him at cornerback. This guy is your user, alright? This guy is 100% your user. Caleb Farley, you can use him at cornerback, but this guy's your user, alright? And he's my user, and he plays great. 6'4 cornerback that you play at safety with 85 speed, 84 excel is phenomenal right now. He's also got 85 jump. Now, the you know coverage stats speak for themselves on a 71 overall cornerback. Like I said, this guy's going to be your user. So sub man at safety when you're in man coverage, cover two or something like that, and you got a great user. Right, 6'4 safety with 85 speed is nice right now. I mean, you could get away with Caleb Farley at um, safety, uh, but you know, cornerback could be better fit for him. If you get both of them, I mean, play Caleb at a uh, corner, play Tariq at safety. I mean, that's just how it's gonna be. But I think Tariq one is the best budget beast out right now. I know some people were saying like Brees Hall and stuff. Um, I don't know. I mean, personally, he has kind of risen in price. There's other running backs you can get that are the same speed for him, so. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you get his rookie from here, that's a completely different story. But Tariq Wan is um, the best budget beast in the game right now, I believe. Uh, now, unfortunately, he's 15, he's 15k right now. I actually got him yesterday for um, 7,500. And there were like 7 others on the block for like 8, and then like more 7,000s. But uh, I believe he's the best budget beast. Because of um, that height and that speed, I mean that's just uh, a combination you don't see very many. Like you get a tall receiver, he's probably gonna be a little, little lower on the speed. I mean, you get a smaller guy, he's probably gonna be a bit faster. I mean it's just how it works. I mean, we, we saw Marquise Brown, 85 speed, but he's 5'9". He's 5'9". Are you, are you kidding me? This guy's full seven inches taller than him, and he's the same speed. That's something that's that's quite rare, right? Having a tall guy with that speed, I mean, that's why I believe he's the best user right now. Not best user, right? There's not better user, but best budget beast that you can play as a user. Um, but yes, I believe uh, that uh, best guy. Um, so let's just go over the quick price range. Uh, just wait for Trey Cole to drop or run some gold packs. Do not buy him for 15k. Um, even though it might be tempting, you'll be able to get him later for cheaper. Uh, Caleb Farley, he was rocking around 15,000, so that's nice. Uh, Marquise Brown, he was around 11,000, 85 speed. Caleb Farley was 87 speed. That's wonderful. Tariq wants 85 speed. Justin Fields is 82 speed with some mid, you know, passing stats. Trey Lance was 80 speed with some mid passing stats. So. Goes five Trey Lance, four Dustin Fields, three Marquise Brown, two Caleb Farley, and one Tariq Wan. Now, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video and uh, find this informative at all, liking, subscribing, commenting down below any other budget beast that you guys 
think are good, um, you know, let me know. I'll make another video on this, you know, maybe like a part two to the Budget Beast. I think, you know, especially when you're starting off the game, say you get like, uh, just get up to 20,000, right? Say you complete the early access challenges, but you spend it, you get 20,000. You can probably pick up a few of these players. I mean, you can probably get Justin Fields if you want. I mean, that's about 3K. Probably get Marquise Brown, that's another 10K. And then, you know, Tariq Woolen is down to like the 8K again. The, the average that was the highest I saw yesterday. You get three of those players, and that's. You still have some, like, few extra K left. I mean, you get speed is key, right? It's just how it is. The beginning of Madden's. I mean, people are going to be experimenting with gold cards. I mean,. I remember last year, people were using, uh, like, Gold Marquise Brown, I think. Uh, he was using, like, 86 speed. But, obviously, they nerfed speed a bit this year, so certain players are not as fast, but it makes sense. But, um, yeah, uh, the next video I should see you guys in, honestly, I'm not sure. I have a few games right now where I want to make videos for, but I think the most likely one might be Madden. Uh, but, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, and, um, peace.